you are watching our new North Central Oklahoma Wooden Foods. Here we go, this is going to be over with the girls and half pack. We now are at Couch Park in Stillwater. This is the other side, it's part two. Um, they got blue player for the kids over there. And uh, we got this little uh, story um, thing so you can read along the trail. So today we'll be walking the trail. Here we go. Oh, over there is the bathroom outhouse. We got the little placebo eating area. I guess our awnings eating area, I guess. Um, what we got to do is start right here. Probably work your way. Work your way around. We got each, I think each week or uh, each few weeks to change out the story in this little picture thing is. Right there is like the, the park, the, I think soft, what is that baseball, softball park? Yeah, but the do little story thing. You go this way to read it. Um, they got a little, another little section over there on the other side of the creek. They eat the park. Uh, tickets too you can use. Have to get out here at some time. There's the play areas, pretty nice. Um, mostly new equipment. Yeah, they got a couple spots you can sit and eat, picnic. Um, good walk, uh, good uh, walking trail. It's black top. Uh, place you can stop and sit and enjoy the nature. I think I like the other side better. That's what's close from season it says. I guess because it's not winterized. It's winterized, I'm at. You can come out here and play frisbee or something. So yeah, you get a parking lot over here. We just came from so you can park your cars. No text found in that location. We're not gonna read the little story things. We just kinda once more we probably pin the camera towards it. Uh, we we'll probably be doing a uh, another video for uh, Lakeview, Member Lake. It'll be coming up soon. We'll be making a video of that. Certain parts of it. It's a bigger park. A lot bigger park. Then you got uh, Strickland Park. It's really really small, but it's a good park to take your kids. Um, you got pretty pretty recent uh, equipment. That they installed there. Uh, um, we'll probably be making some more uh, um, videos of maybe campus on uh, on the future. Um. Here's the direction that we came from. Mm -hmm. 
if I if I can recall that building right there, it's for the senior citizens. Straight in front of us. Uh, if you a senior citizen, you can go there, play games, visit you know, play games and have free snacks. If you wanna hang out with someone and talk and uh, want to socialize. That's daily bread over there. If you uh, need groceries. Um, what we're gonna probably do, probably make a left. And we would just make it right. Or we might just cut through the through the trees. Um, there is a lot of places you can park. They got a lot of parking spots. Towards the uh, east side of the road entrance. Guys, there we go. I don't know what accessibility keep on coming up. Oh. I like nature really. I like coming out and walking it. In the leaves fence. Over there is that little bridge you can walk across to get the other side. Um, but over there, on that side is creek, it's parking. Can't miss the turn off. It has a big sign that says Josh Park. Taking a different path for me. But anyhow, we're gonna start walking back to the vehicle. Um, come out here and you know, give it a try, you know, take a little walk. Um, it's the beginning of spring almost. Soon, so like I'm like, pretty excited to have the warmer temperatures. Park. You just follow this road and it goes all the way around. It's a pretty good sized park. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to show the the south side of it. 
Um, this is the north side and the central part of it. I'm showing today. Where'd she go? We might go ahead and cross this road over here. They got a uh, street light. Uh, just a just a heads up. Um, if you come out here, uh, take your time. Don't be flying through here because you got little kids that come out here. Uh, about five miles per hour. I recommend you to go. Kind of look out for the little kids. A lot of these trees were damaged a few years ago. We had a pretty good uh, ice storm. Uh, it caused a lot of damage to all the trees, to the parks and stuff. And they still haven't recovered from them completely. There's a lot of places you can go and visit here in Stillwater. Um, we did a video on for Main Street and Lakeview and East 51. Um, we're going to continue making videos like this. Be interested uh, to learn about places in Stillwater you can go to. Uh, this park is free to get in. I'm gonna take a little look at this little creek thingy. I don't think it has any water in it, really. Yeah, this is tree. I remember that tree right there. That's part of the ice storm damage, but it died. Yeah, we got some water down there. But uh, everything's dry because we're on a, still on a, a drought here in central Oklahoma. But sometimes the water comes up to this uh, pretty pretty far up here. If we have a good rainy season, rainy season. Gonna maybe zoom in a little bit. We don't want to videotape any kids or anything like that. I'm try not to. You know, we try not to get any minors in the videos. Okay, this is um, we got a little little drain ditch. Looks like right here. I don't I don't know how deep it is. Full of leaves. Um, sometimes they have like a little advance over here. Uh, pretty much uh, the church and stuff. It's on like events. You can have free hot dogs, and free drinks, and uh, stuff. Sometimes they have the uh, bouncy, uh, blow up bouncy houses. So, I probably, if anything comes up like that, I'll be making a heads up video. 
we used to take my kid up here um, to those events, and they used to have the bouncy, uh, blow up bouncy houses, and they used to give uh, rides on the uh, ponies and stuff. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up in the video. If you like this video, don't forget. Excuse me. Don't forget to click and subscribe. Click the notification bell. I see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that bell, cause if you don't, you don't know what you'll be messing out.